Hey, this is John Murray. I'm at the Bassathon, and I want to show you about another bait. The Jean LaRue, Tommy Biffle, Hardhead, with a Biffle bug. This little bait's a very interesting bait to use, and to me, I use it if your lake has crawdads in it. Probably 98% of the lakes I've ever fished with have some sort of crawfish species in it. And when you have crawfish in a lake and a bass is eating them, this is going to be a great technique for it. Now, it's a, a very simple bait to use in that it's got a jig head. The head is actually, this one is almost three-quarter ounce with a four-aught owner hook. And I put that three-inch biffle bug on there. They make different sizes and a lot of different colors. But this is a good all-around color. This, this watermelon red imitates a lot of crawdads. Now, if your favorite lake has bright red crawdads, you know, change your colors. That's not a big deal. To me, color is really confidence. If you think you're going to catch a fish on a bait, you probably will, especially color-wise. But a biffle bug's real simple. I'm going to use a fairly heavy rod. This is a 7-4 loose rod, heavy action. I'm going to use 16-pound Torre fluorocarbon line and this three-quarter ounce bait. And the beauty of this bait is that they're, again, never going to have a depth range for it. If a fish is in a foot of water, they'll hit it. If a fish is in 60 feet of water, they'll hit this bait. And the retrieve is simple. Make a long cast, let it settle to the bottom, and just a steady retrieve. That's it. I'm going to retrieve this reel. This is a 6-4 to 1 lose reel. I'm just going to have a steady retrieve so that bait is sort of darting across the rocks, bouncing across the rocks like a crawdad. A bite is just basically going to get heavy. You're going to be reeling, feeling that thing bounce, and all of a sudden it's get heavy. That's when you want to set the hook. That's why you want to use a heavy rod, heavy action rod, something you can get that hook set. It's very weedless. I got it tech exposed. It's very weedless, so you can reel it through a lot of different stuff. And the key to it is keep it moving. Keep that thing. Don't drag it like a jig. Keep this biffle bug moving through the water column, hitting the bottom. You're going to catch fish on it. The biffle bug. It's caught a lot of fish in the last three or four years, and it's one of my favorites, especially on lakes that have crawdad populations. This bait will catch them.